This is a copy written production of the Recreation Centers of Sun City Incorporated and is intended for the sole purpose of informing our Recreation Center members. Any duplication, copying, transmission, broadcast or use including electronic and social media is strictly prohibited without the prior written consent from the Recreation Centers of Sun City Incorporated. Thank you for watching. Welcome to Discover Sun City, Arizona. It's awesome to see everybody here today. There's magic in new beginnings, and we are hopeful that 2022 is happy and healthy for all. My name is Polly Corsino. As the Sun City, Arizona Visitor Center and Marketing Manager, I have the privilege of working with many wonderful Sun City volunteers and staff serving the community and potential residents at the Sun City, Arizona Visitor Center. By show of hands, how many of you have moved here to Sun City in 2020 and 2021? Awesome. A lot of people. Welcome home. We hope you contacted or stopped by the Sun City, Arizona Visitor Center at Bell Center before or even after your move. If you aren't familiar with the Visitor Center, or you've walked by it several times but haven't had a chance to drop in and speak with us, we invite you to check out our vast community resources. Come see us first. If we can't help you, we will most likely know who can. If you have been to the Visitor Center, I'm confident you were served with a smile by our friendly and knowledgeable resident volunteers. Just about all Visitor Center volunteers have lived in Sun City for 10 years or more and most have lived here for more than 15 years. We even have one that's at about 22 years. That is the definition of dedication to giving back to the community. Our residents, that would include almost all of you here today, are Sun City's finest ambassadors. Sun City, with its numerous amenities, events, and volunteer spirit, didn't happen overnight. But the Sun City, Arizona idea a master plan community built specifically for active adults turned the way folks traditionally thought about retirement upside down. When the Dell Webb Development Company opened five model homes in January 1st, 1960, thousands of cars lined Grand Avenue. The long line snaked around the model homes and many purchased homes within the first hour. By the end of the first weekend, more than 100,000 visitors came to see what was being developed in the Arizona Sonoran Desert. Sun City, Arizona was an immediate and overwhelming success, and the community grew quickly. By the end of the first month, the company had sold all 400 homes scheduled to be built in the first year. A second phase, consisting of 675 homes, was quickly put together. The company had planned to sell 1,700 homes in its first three years of marketing Sun City, but by the end of 1960, a total of 2,000 homes were purchased. Though some scoffed at the idea of an active retirement community, Del Webb was confident his new community would be successful. Unlike other retirement communities that promised amenities that never came, Webb built them before the homes. And as Sun City, Arizona grew, the Dell Webb Development Company added recreation centers, golf courses, and shopping facilities. Webb knew then what we still know is true today. Concrete, steel, and lumber make the buildings, but it's people that make the community. In Sun City, Arizona, we believe opportunities should be limitless, choices should be endless, and life should be enjoyed to the fullest. Picture an entire community designed around the freedom to do what you want and be whom you want. Life really is what you make it, and nowhere is that more true than in Sun City, Arizona. We came from Sioux City, Iowa, and my husband was a dentist, and I was a professional ice skater for 30 years, and we had a very active lifestyle. We moved here and really nothing changed. We're still active. We had no idea that Sun City could be 
uh, such a special place for us. There is a club for absolutely everyone. We are now way more active than we ever were on, the, on our physical fitness, our social activities. Uh, there are so many things that, that, that go on and opportunities to do things that... It doesn't matter what your interest is, there's a club for you. We do a lot of miniature golf. I play regular golf. I'm involved with pickleball. Uh, Jeannie does water walking in the pools. A poker club, ceramics to silversmith, rock hounding. Playing some bocce, a little bit of golf. We play some cards, go to the pool. China painting, photography. There's a Wisconsin club, so if you're from Wisconsin, come on down, join the club. You don't even have to be from Wisconsin, I found out. And we do three to five times a week in the fitness centers. Wood shop. Uh, there's three wood shops here that got every possible piece of equipment that you'd want. One of my favorite things to do here in Sun City is to play golf. And I like the idea that I can play different golf courses each day of the week. My favorite course I like to play here is, uh, is Lakes West, primarily because uh, it's a little tougher, I think, than most, and I like to try and conquer that sucker. One of the things that we've never done before and really enjoy is being part of the ukulele club here in Sun City, and we have such a good time playing together. It's just a great life and a great lifestyle. It doesn't matter what you did before you came here. What really matters is what you do when you get here. And most all of our friends feel the same way. In fact, all of our friends feel the same way. This is a special community. We're glad we're here, and we're staying for a long time. Okay, so don't boo the messenger, but we do not have a poker club in Sun City. <laughs> but plenty of card clubs. Plenty of those, and the men's club, they play a lot of cards as well. The Recreation Centers of Sun City Incorporated, commonly referred to as RCSC, is a nonprofit private corporation that owns and operates approximately $100 million in recreational facilities and manages a $22 million annual budget and employs approximately 425 employees, both part and full time. More than 60% of RCSC employees are Sun City, Arizona residents. It is the mission of RCSC to provide for all Sun City, Arizona residents, should they qualify and choose to participate, the broadest range of recreational and social facilities possible to enhance their active lifestyles and well being. Discover just how active your lifestyle, your life of leisure can be at any one of RCSC's eight recreation centers. Seven centers are equipped with swimming pools, sport courts, exercise studios, and social halls, but every recreation center buzzes with activities and amenities. We also have two state-of-the-art bowling centers with cafes, an open-air amphitheater for concerts and performances, an off-leash dog park named Duffyland, and Viewpoint Lake, a 33-acre man-made lake located at Lakeview Recreation Center where you can fish, kayak, enjoy one of our paddle or rowboats, or relax and enjoy the scenery, which includes a soothing waterfall. What other community provides you with a different golf course to choose to play each day of the week? The RCSC owns and operates eight golf courses in Sun City available year round to RCSC cardholders for a reduced rate. With five regulation courses and three executive courses that span 1,100 acres in just six miles, you won't mind this short drive. Please note the facilities agreement executed by each deeded real estate owner in Sun City obligates owners to pay an annual property assessment to the RCSC. Whether or not owners occupy the Sun City, Arizona property or use RCSC facilities. We are very proud to report that the annual property assessment has not increased since 2017 and that the Sun City annual assessment is still among the lowest of all active lifestyle communities in the US. That's pretty special. RCSC basically has two major sources of income. While golf, bowling, and food service operations create income, their income essentially covers their operating expenses. 
Each property in Sun City, Arizona is charged an annual property assessment which is used to pay for RCSE's operating expenses and operating capital. Operating expenses include labor, utilities, supplies, equipment, insurance, and property taxes. Operating capital includes capital requirements under $300,000 and or those with a life expectancy of less than 15 years. In 1999, a very insightful RCSE Board of Directors instituted the Preservation and Improvement Fee, commonly referred to as PIF. Just 11 years short of Sun City, Arizona's 50th anniversary, this board made a very unpopular decision by creating a preservation and improvement fee for every change in ownership of 51% or more of a Sun City, Arizona property. The PIF provides the funds to complete major projects, those costing $300,000 or, $300, or more with a depreciable life of 15 years or more and allows RCSE to update its facilities and still remain debt free as it has since the beginning. Without the PIF, it would be very difficult to continue, continue to provide the top notch amenities that our current residents expect and our future residents will need, keeping Sun City the retirement destination of choice. Sun City, Arizona is the very best value for your dollar in a 55 plus community, which is evidenced by this chart showing the 2022 comparable annual assessment fees in other Sun City communities locally and throughout the US. Simply put, Sun City, Arizona offers the most amenities at the lowest cost. That's been our philosophy since the beginning and it continues to drive our mission and vision today. You really can afford to live the full life you've always wanted in Sun City and have convenient access to healthcare, shopping, recreation, and leisure. Located at the recreation centers are a variety of chartered clubs offering something for everyone. Arts and crafts clubs include stained glass, weavers and knitters, Ceramics, quilters, clay, leather craft, china painting, silver craft, lapidary, metal craft, and woodworking. And they're all available for those with and without experience. Numerous educational, sports, dance, exercise, music, theater, and card and game clubs are also available. A variety of social clubs and other clubs, such as photography, gardening, vintage vehicles, and a dog club all provide an excellent opportunity for residents to become active and involved in the community. Here's a video produced by Arizona's family with just one great example of how our clubs pay it forward and help neighbors in need. Without asking for anything in return captures the true spirit of our paying it forward segments. Yeah, so in this week's Pay It Forward, Paul Horan introduces us to people who work tirelessly to help those in need. We paid it forward in Sun City to two ladies who are leaders of the Sundial Craft Club. Joe takes the time and the effort to make a hat for charity, just like she does for a family member. She adorns each hat with a button that perfectly complements the colors that she chose. And Anna also makes sure that the colors that she's used are, are put together and they just make the most beautiful hats that anybody would want to wear. Joanne Hansen and Anna Van Scooter at times use their own money to buy supplies for their club and create items for others in need in their community. Because of their hard work, their friends wanted to pay it forward to them. Hello, Joe. Well, hi. How are you? I'm just fine. <laughs> I'm glad you have a large camera. <laughs> Loretta has something nice for you. What? Because of all the nice things that you and Anna do, we would like to present you with this gift card for $500. Oh my God! Yeah. 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 I want you all the time. Yeah, well, thank you. Oh my gosh, this is a surprise. Oh, yeah. 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 They have about 50 members in their needle crafting club where they meet twice a week to help the charities they support. Joe already has plans with her friend Anna. I think Anna and I have to make a trip to the the fabric store together. <laughs> We're going to have a big day. Paul Horton for Arizona's Family.
And again, that's just one example because all of the clubs and organizations in Sun City are amazing and give back often. Many RCSE clubs are represented here today, so please take some time to visit with those you may be interested in joining. There's a natural sense of belonging that comes from being around like-minded people with shared goals and interests. That feeling of community is fostered through those social clubs and special interest groups which are included in the low annual fees. In many ways, the true value of Sun City, Arizona is created from the security felt from living in a friendly, appealing, affordable, and conveniently located active adult community. One of the greatest things about Sun City, as my wife and I were looking into a retirement community, was the value. We did a little shopping around of uh, where we thought we might want to retire. We got down and spent a few days, and all of a sudden the wife says, gee, you know, I really like it here. Two months later, did some homework, found a place and bought it. Coming here, I was really surprised at the cost of homes and just generally the cost of living, uh, the reasonable expense for taxes. Uh, we figured we got a pay raise coming here. Where I came from, my taxes, real estate taxes, were over $8,000 a year. Here, $800 a year. And Sun City offers the best value that can be found anywhere in the nation. What we were able to buy in a home at a reasonable price. Not only do we have fantastic facilities, but we also have the lowest fees. Our annual fee for the two of us to use any facilities with our seven recreation centers is less than what cost me to join a gym out in Phoenix someplace. We have eight golf courses. I'm a golfer. I love golfing. The golf here is the best value in America. I can make a tee time virtually any time I want and play them for one set fee. And I like the idea that I can play different golf courses each day of the week. Well, five regulation courses, three executive courses. And he could play. 36 holes a day if he had the energy. He could even play more at every one of the golf courses. One of the other great assets within our community is our healthcare industry. We have Banner Boswell Medical Center, one of the top 100 hospitals in heart research, located right here in Sun City. And there is every possible type doctor and medical facility to be found right here within our community. It didn't take us very long to realize what a fantastic value we're able to derive once we got here to Sun City. It's pretty amazing. Great weather, great people. What a value. All of that contributes to the value that makes Sun City such a wonderful, incredible living experience. It gives meaning to life. And low property taxes. Hopefully you're bragging about that to your friends and family. RCSC has nine elected volunteer, meaning unpaid, board of directors. The term for an elected board of director is generally three years. The board has many responsibilities, such as to fulfill its fiduciary duty to act in the best interest and for the benefit of the corporation, and therefore the Sun City, Arizona community, to exercise sound business judgment, and to establish and revise policy. On the website in the drop-down menu under the RCSE tab, you will find the RCSE corporate documents, the restated articles of incorporation, corporate bylaws, and board policies. Only RCSE members can vote in RCSE board elections. There are three qualifications necessary to become an RCSE member. Members must be a deeded real estate owner of a property in Sun City, must be 55 years of age or older or meet the spousal, spousal exemption requirement and must occupy the Sun City, Arizona property as their primary Arizona residence unless their other Arizona residence is greater than 75 miles from Sun City. Additionally, in order to vote, the RCSC member must be in good standing. On the screen, you can see two types of member cards. The full-size card, which, is, which shows only the month and day your card expires without the year, so it can be used for multiple years. And the key fob, which is handy for members and card holders in general to carry in gym bags and golf bags or place on a keychain for easy access to RCSC facilities. Please note that for entry into free entertainment venues, the full-size card with your photo must be presented rather than the key fob. 
Sun City, Arizona is filled with a wealth of experience and expertise. The RCSC Board of Directors has formed standing committees, so this experience and expertise can be put to good use. If you see something listed here that suits you, please don't hesitate to contact the board office or visit the board table today. If you would like to see what these communities are about or committees are about, you are welcome to attend any of their meetings. You can find a schedule of board and committee meetings on our website under the RCSC tab. RCSC board meetings are held twice per month, generally on the second Monday and fourth Thursday at 9 a.m. at the Sundial Auditorium, except for July and August. Board meetings are the pathway for the board of directors to make decisions regarding RCSC policy. All cardholders are encouraged to attend and provide feedback related to any business at hand. To confirm location dates and time of all meetings, please refer to Sunviews, the official RCSC monthly newsletter, or our website under the RCSC tab and facility bulletin boards or electronic signs. If you want to stay updated with news and happenings taking place within RCSC and Sun City, there are vast opportunities available to receive those communications. RCSC makes it a priority to keep its cardholders informed using various methods that include our website, which is suncityaz.org, email news alerts, comment cards, posted flyers at our facilities of upcoming meetings and events, the monthly Sunviews newsletter, newspaper articles, social media and YouTube videos, and with TV monitors located inside recreation center lobbies and electronic signage outside. And you can also come to the visitor center and we'll help you out if you're looking for information. It is our mission to make sure that you don't miss a thing. Be sure to register an account on the RCSC portal accessed at the upper right corner of our website where it says log in. A portal account allows you to sign up for our news alert emails, make tea times, issue payments, vote in board elections, and more. RCSC news email alerts will provide you with the most up-to-date information we have available. You can specify the categories you are interested in so you will not be sent emails that are not of interest to you. Your email address will remain confidential and for RCSC use only. If you need assistance registering on the web portal, please contact our Cardholder Services Office. Sunviews is a free monthly publication for Sun City, Arizona residents that provides news and information about RCSC, club activities, special events, entertainment, and special announcements. Printed copies of Sunviews are available at all RCSC recreation centers and pro shops. Sunviews is also available in PDF format on our website. If you haven't done so already, follow us on social media, view us on YouTube, and feel free to email us directly, even if you just have an interesting local photo or event to bring to our attention. Several links, including the RCSC contact feature, may be found easily at the bottom of the homepage of our website. We do our utmost to keep the Sun City, Arizona website current and filled with answers to your questions. Our website offers a wealth of information for both current and potential Sun City, Arizona residents, so please access it often again at suncityaz.org. Sun City is seven miles long and three miles wide with everything you need in between. It's unique in almost every sense, architecturally, culturally, environmentally, and socially. Friendliness, beauty, convenience, and value are the things that make this community unique. Sun City, Arizona is one of the best places in the world to live. We are not just for the retired. Many of our residents continue to work and enjoy the benefits of community amenities and fellowship. fascinating. The sense of community of Sun City is what's really interesting because you have to stop and think about it. Nobody was born in Sun City. Nobody. Everybody came from somewhere else. Volunteerism is huge in Sun City. We actually have signs as you're driving into the community that say City of Volunteers. 
And basically, that's what people do. Sun City really is a sum total of its parts, all of the different things that you can be a part of. There are so many opportunities here. My husband and I volunteer in many organizations. 1999, I was nominated for the board of directors here. I got involved because, uh, truthfully, I got tired of retirement. I'm also a president of a club. Uh, you've been the whole chairman for the Arts and Crafts Festival yep. that Hague takes place every year. Yep. After being here about five or six years, I decided that I needed to contribute. And I elected to run for the board of, the board of directors. And that's when I really got to know Sun City. We all have to work together, and everybody everybody understands that and, and is so happy to do it. You know, one of the things that, uh, that I really like about Sun City is how people care for each other. But that's the spirit of Sun City. We get involved in clubs. We get involved in churches. We give our time uh, in a variety of different organizations. Helping others and doing good for the community, building up the community. And make it uh, continue to be as special as it was in those early years. I've never felt so much a part of a community as I have here. I enjoy the life here at Sun City. I enjoy all the people here. Uh, three days after I got here, this is where I wanted to retire. We saw this house, and it was sitting on the lake, and the swans were out front, and we said sold. It's uh, turned out to be a special community. We've made so many new friends. They're just wonderful, down-to-earth, honest people that you want to have as your friends. And we made so many good friends in a very short period of time. I wanted to be a part of something as special as Sun City. When we work together with other people, we can do some really incredible things. Sun City, Arizona has numerous organizations that make this community work. And with those comes various opportunities to give of your time, talents, and treasures. Experts say that volunteering is beneficial for both the volunteer and the organization. Volunteering helps you help others is a way to make a meaningful difference to your community and allows you to, pr to provide assistance to causes you care about. Volunteering is vital to the continued success of Sun City, Arizona, so please get involved. A list of local volunteer opportunities may be found at the visitor center and at our table in the back of the room. Did you know that Sun City, Arizona is not a city? It is an unincorporated community in Maricopa County. Maricopa County is responsible for the roads, medians, codes, zoning, and law enforcement, as well as the two libraries located at Bell and Fairway Rec Centers. Also, RCSC is not a homeowners association. We do not regulate or monitor private residences in Sun City. The Sun City Homeowners Association, or SHOA, and respective condo associations are responsible for enforcing the deed restrictions for non-commercial properties. The Sun City Homeowners Association also enforces Sun City, Arizona's age restrictions, requiring one household member to be at least 55 years of age or more, with no one living in the household permanently under the age of 19. The Condo Owners Association offers workshops on topics such as state laws, insurance, governing documents, budgets, and CCNR compliance. The Retirement Community Association of Sun City was founded in 1975 to keep Sun City, Arizona unincorporated. They also promote safety and security by providing smoke detectors for homes, golf car safety strips, and pet decals for emergency information programs. Banner Boswell Medical Center provides essential medical services and treatment to Sun City, Arizona residents. Banner Boswell Medical Center was named as one of the nation's 100 top hospitals by Truven Health Analytics, a leading national healthcare research and quality assessment organization. We are extremely blessed to have an excellent Medicare medical uh, facility and medical care in the heart of our community. Banner Olive Branch Senior Center offers socialization, food, and life enrichment programs to individuals 60 years of age or older or disabled. Sun City Meals on Wheels provides home delivered meals 365 days a year. Benavia offers assistance to seniors so they are able to remain in their homes for as long as possible, as long as it's safe and affordable. The Sun City Community Assistance Network or Sun City Can, 
helps residents keep up with the cost of living by offering a benefits checkup, AARP tax aid preparation, and financial counseling. The Prides, proud residents independently donating essential services, do a fantastic job of assisting Maricopa County in keeping Sun City a clean and beautiful place in which to live and work. The Friends of the Sun City Libraries afford essential support for our libraries by providing financial and or volunteer support for library programs, materials, equipment, community grants, the Book Buddy service for homebound individuals, and much more. The primary function of the Sun City Posse is to deter crime in Sun City, Arizona by reporting suspicious activity to the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office, MCSO. They will also check on your home periodically when it is vacant for a period of time. So check with them about their vacation watch service. Although we are not a city, we do have our own Sun City, Arizona Fire Department with two stations that provide emergency medical services. Be sure to ask them about emergency lockbox information for your home if you do not already have one. And they are here today in the back. The Sun City, Arizona Foundation offers assistance to those who qualify for financial aid with their RCSE annual property assessments. The Dell Webb Sun City's Museum is a treasure trove of historical information about the Sun Cities with several new exhibits. This amazing original pink Sun City, Arizona home located just west of Oakmont Rec Center is a must see. Last but not certainly, but certainly not least, Sunshine Service is a charitable organization that lends durable medical equipment such as wheelchairs and walkers and children's equipment such as high chairs and cribs to Sun City, Arizona residents. And if you are short a bed for a guest, you can borrow a roll away from them as well. Most of the organizations mentioned exist because of contributions by people like you in giving time, talent, and treasures, so please, when it comes to making your donations, think locally first. These organizations are vital to the success of Sun City and make it the very best active adult community beyond compare. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. I'm Bill Cook. I'm the new general manager as of uh, June 1st of 2021. Um, thank you, Polly. Uh, really great job. Um, and thanks to the staff for you know, putting this all together. Um, I want to welcome all those, those who waved or raised their hands at the beginning. That's awesome. That's, uh, that's a big number. So welcome. Um, and I want to thank you all for coming to this event. Um, a lot of information was passed on. So that's a half hour of a lot of information, but there's all these people that are set up in their booths are here to answer all of your questions. So I would just say, please take advantage of this, okay? There's a lot of great clubs that are here that spent time uh, uh, out of their days to answer your questions, and you know, please feel free to enjoy that. Um, I wanna tell you, um, you know, this meeting is all about you, um, but I'm always here for your questions. Uh, my door is always open. Okay, so um, you know, always feel free to um, tell us we're doing a good job, tell us we're doing a bad job, which hopefully that doesn't happen very often. And um, please enjoy the rest of the day and enjoy uh, your neighbors. Thank you very much. This is a copy written production of the Recreation Centers of Sun City Incorporated and is intended for the sole purpose of informing our Recreation Center members. Any duplication, copying, transmission, broadcast or use including electronic and social media is strictly prohibited without the prior written consent from the Recreation Centers of Sun City Incorporated. Thank you for watching.